we have achieved a number of things. We have raised the capacity of uh, girls and women with disabilities and also to say that they can uh, they can defend themselves. The use of the paralegals and local advocates approach it has raised uh, the prevention of different issues in the areas of GBV. If we say the issue of harmful traditional practice and uh, the issue of rape in our uh, law provisions. Uh, previously, uh, it was it was a very uh, challenging, and so after the I mean after the continuous effort of uh, the researchers and the advocacy service that Eula did, those provisions are um, included in our criminal in our penal code. This is also a great achievement, even creating a society or enabling the women to be assertive while they present themselves in court and uh, trying to defend themselves, you know. There really has been a change towards attitudes around gender-based violence. Our communities are now recognizing that gender-based violence is a social ill which must be addressed. And at community level, people are mobilizing against gender-based violence. We also have trained a number of community-based organizations to build a movement against uh, gender-based violence. We also are focusing on elimination of child marriages. So we also are beginning to see a change where communities are speaking out against uh, child marriages. And we hope we will be able to eradicate the practice of uh, child marriages. Survivors' demeanor has improved since our interaction with them. Improvement in their health, which has promoted good physical and mental health. This has also improved survivors' coping mechanism during the difficult moments. Our engagement within the community has also increased awareness of vulnerabilities of urban refugees. Uh, some of the changes that we have brought in when it comes to violence against women and girls with disabilities. We have been supporting victims and uh, our resource persons in the community to follow up on cases of violence. When maybe they identify a case of violence and they need transport maybe to the police station or uh, to pay a small fee at the hospital or follow up on a case at the court level, we are able to support them to follow up on those cases. We gained attention from law enforcing bodies and influential community members. These days they started to stand with us and resist the violence. Women and girls started resisting violence and take the case to court. Self-confidence is also built among our target groups, women and girls. I have somehow contributed in this visionary mission of creating just an equitable society for all as my foremost responsibility is to give voice to the unheard through stories, documentaries and video production which we disseminate through social media handles and website for spreading awareness among the mass. Some of the key achievements is just raising community activism. For communities to be aware of what is going on is one of the most important things. For survivors to be able to lead these conversations is very, very paramount. And so we are also undertaking um, to, to continue to raise awareness on SDBV to intensify community activism, voice and agency. We are carrying out community dialogues, civic education engagements using music, dance and drama. We are having conversations at national level to just build a movement of women to enhance sisterhood and solidarity um, by having conversations at all these levels. We are engaging men on gender and positive masculinities because we all know that the biggest perpetrators continue to be men in our societies. And so we have um, men that go out and also converse, have these conversations, ask the hard questions with fellow men. Uh, we also have a multimedia campaign of course, on inclusion, women's leadership, and sexual and gender-based violence prevention, response, and mitigation. The continuous provision of safe space for dialogue 
and healing justice where survivors can come together meet encourage each other and be each other's support system